Hello everyone, um, today I'm going to give a very quick overview, overview about the different type of files and how to um, navigate the file system on a Linux machine, Unix machine, which is usually what you see when you use a high performance computer cluster. So I'm currently logged into a high performance computer cluster and I want to show you around a little bit of what you can find. So when you log into a, um, a HPC cluster, you usually end up in your home directory and this is kind of where I'm at the moment. So if we use the pwd command, which I'm typing here now, which means um, is your parent, parent working directory or basically it's the current working directory and it basically tells you where you are at the moment. So if I press enter now, it tells me that I'm in home and then the UQM hang is my username there. So this is my home directory. And if you log in, that's where you usually end up. But now we would like to orientate ourselves a little bit and see what else is usually around on a high performance computer cluster. So if you look at the home um, you, and then my username, you see there's two slashes there, one in front of the home and one in front of my username. And the first slash is basically, that's what we call the root directory and everything branches off that one. And so we're just going to have a quick look of what is in there. And I use the ls command, which is the listing command. And I just want to list what is in that first slash directory. So if we look at this, we find that there's quite a bit in there and there's all sorts of different things. So we find the first one. Um, so we find that the home directory is there, what we've already seen before. But if we go in order now, we do find there's a bin directory, for example. And that's usually where a lot of the binaries are. So a lot of the system executables will be find, found in the bin directory. Another directory that is there is things like the lib directory or the lib64 directory and this is where a lot of the system libraries are located so these would be in those directories another important one is called the opt directory and that is quite often optional um, software installed that are part of the system usually um, so these are typical system um, directories that belong to any Unix system and you usually find these in most Unix Linux systems. Um, there's one more. Um, so the other important ones particular to this cluster. So we already talked about the home directory but on most high performance computer clusters the home directory is relatively small so you can't really store a lot of data in there or you can't really use it for your calculations if you're processing or outputting a lot of data to your calculations. And so the majority of clusters and high performance computers um, provide a different directory for that to do this. And the majority nowadays all call it the same thing and they call it Scratch. And so this um, cluster here also has a scratch directory and I'm just going to show you and so if I have a look what's in my scratch directory let's have a look what's in scratch and we find there are things like legacy project project mountain user and for this particular cluster the scratch user is the one where the users can have their data. So most users will have a directory in there where they can put their input data and keep their output data of their calculations. And as I said, the majority of HPC clusters nowadays actually do call it scratch. So you will have a home directory and you will have a scratch directory, which usually means the scratch is for your calculations. It's meant for temporary data, while the home directory is much, much smaller where you can keep input files and, and other small scripts and things. The last things I want to point out on this one is, for example, um, which most clusters have as well, is SW, and there's an SW6 here, and also an SW7. And SW is short for software here. 
and so this is where most of the user or hand installed extra software is you can find that there on other hpc clusters this could be called apps or applications or software all the way written out um, but most hpc clusters will have a directory that contains the software that administrators have installed by hand basically or some users have installed by hand and that is available to all users on the cluster so these are the most important file systems that you find on a high performance computer cluster the most of them that you usually will have to do with is your home directory then a scratch directory and then usually the one that is a software directory so these are the important ones